Good morning. Um, look what I found, a book called The House of Wisdom. This actually, I found out about this book from my brother-in-law. I was telling him about the story of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. Uh, my brother-in-law sells real estate, and so he reads the Wall Street Journal. Anyways, uh, three weeks later, he emails me uh, a review of this book that appeared in the Wall Street Journal. So kind of a current topic. This is all about the House of Wisdom in Baghdad in the year 750. So pretty interesting, 2009 copyright, fairly new book. Um, here is a copy of Euclid's Elements that I bought at Barnes & Noble. Um, this is one of the first books translated in Baghdad in the year 750 in the uh, House of Wisdom. So kind of interesting too that this book, which is over 2,000 years old, how can I just walk into Barnes & Noble and buy it? Well, the answer to that is the same as the answer to the question, why do we call it algebra? The trip takes us through Baghdad in the year 750. Um, in the House of Wisdom. Now what's really interesting about that is the rest of the story, which we'll talk about a little bit later, which um, involves the same group of people and translating these books uh, into Latin and then that's how they move into Europe so that we can get all this information. That's how this information comes to us. That's how we have algebra to teach today. That's a fascinating story and that story involves the mathematician Fibonacci. So we're going to go back and see how Fibonacci fits into this whole story of why do we call it algebra or why is it that I can walk into Barnes and Noble and buy a copy of Euclid's Elements. So welcome and um, good luck with this section.